It is now my honor to introduce some of the members of our Texas Transportation Commission. I know I introduced them earlier. I just want to reemphasize the word passion, how fortunate we are as a department agency to have commissioners so passionate about what they do, so passionate to support us in our efforts, providing the leadership required to get the things done that we need. The first commissioner we'll hear from this morning is Commissioner Fred Underwood. Commissioner Underwood is from the great city of Lubbock. He joined the commission in January of 2007. He is president of the Trinity Company, a cotton bale storage facility, and he serves as chairman of the Ways and Means Committee of the Cotton Warehouse Association. He's also a former vice president and former director of the National Cotton Council, a graduate of Texas Tech University, and a fearless fan of Red Raider sports, guns up. And this may be Commissioner Underwood's last short course. Let me take the time Commissioner, to personally thank you for your leadership over the years. Commissioner Underwood's been a tireless advocate for our employees and has strongly supported every measure that will help keep our employees safe on the job. And we will be forever grateful for his leadership and his guidance. Commissioner Underwood, the floor is yours. Thank you. As, as the general said, uh, this will be my last time to address you, and it's been quite an honor. And it'll also probably be the last time I have to wear a tie. <laughs> I come from a long line of horse thieves. We don't like anything around our neck. <laughs> uh, general, that, that was, I appreciate your introduction. That's, that's a lot better than the last one I received down in Del Rio. Uh, uh, they, their comment was, uh, do not attempt to drive a car or operate heavy equipment after hearing Commissioner Underwood speak. <laughs> and on a, on a side note to John Barton, and I'm sorry, John, I, I, I'm sorry that your water polo team, uh, y'all had to disband it because the horses kept drowning. <laughs> sorry. Uh, Thank you all for having us here. It's good to be in College Station. Howdy! The dedication and commitment of Textile employees to the citizens of Texas is tremendous. I'm personally grateful for the efforts of everyone in this room in helping us have the greatest transportation network, not only in the country, but in the world. The men and women of Textile design the roads, systems, and signs that move Texans safely across millions of miles of Texas every day. Textile employees are the department's most important asset. You're our most important asset. They are a lead partner in looking at transportation landscape ahead of us as we navigate the future. Y'all are the heart and soul of this organization. You go above and beyond the call of duty, especially when it comes to keeping people safe. Safety is both a business priority and a significant part of TxDOT's culture. Our goal is always to have zero injuries of our employees, our contractors, and the driving public. TxDOT is elevating safety on every level. The department has implemented and increased a number of work zone devices to improve safety. Rumble strips on stationary work zone setups, increased use of cash crash attenuators, and police assistance as we work. Mobile steel barriers, increased use of portable traffic signals, increased use of automated flagger assistant devices. And this comes home to me because I remember talking to a young lady when I was in the Children's District and she was talking about, she was with her little sign, you know, with traffic slow, you know, stop. And an 18-wheeler went by and knocked it out of her hand. So this is important. In the fiscal year 2014, TxDOT met all four of its safety goals. Fiscal year 14 was the safest year on record in the history of TxDOT in regards to all injuries, lost time injuries, and vehicle incidences. TxDOT recorded over 100 fewer vehicle incidences in fiscal year 14 compared to fiscal year 13. 
These milestones are attributed to a higher emphasis placed on safety by TxDOT's administration, by allocating resources, raising the standard, and ex by expanding accountability among management and supervisors. More one-on-one -on -one field safety assessments on operations and increasing training support for districts, divisions, and offices. Our enhanced driver improvement program is a major factor in helping to reduce vehicle instances. TxDOT has increased employees completing the Smith Driving Program to over 6,500 employees within the last two years. Achieving this went well beyond the traditional methods of mere policies, rules, guidelines. Commitment, active leadership, supervisory support, and staff involvement are critical elements to maintaining a strong safety culture. TxDOT is building a foundation to make its work procedures safer. Protecting employees is a never-ending job. Everyone here has a role in keeping the workplace safe. TxDOT employees who work on our roads face constant challenges. Distracted drivers are everywhere, especially with all the construction we have going on now. We have more and more drivers driving on our roads, driving through our construction zones. Textile, every textile employee is involved in safety mission zero, whether they're training others, taking immediate action, or learning to identify hazards. People who say something, people who say that something is impossible, just remember this, people who say something is impossible, mission zero, should not interrupt those who are managing to get it done. We are all accountable for safety, so it needs to become a way of life. I urge each and every one of you to become more engaged. You must take ownership of your individual safety and the safety of those around you. You must look out for your fellow employees. This commitment by the Department to safety, it protects our employees and the driving public so that each and every one of us can return home to our loved ones in the evening. I want to thank you for everything you do. Remember that Mission Zero is our goal. Remember, don't let the best you've ever done be the standard for the rest of your life. And also, don't forget our, our tech stock motto. When everything is coming your way, you, you're in the wrong lane. <laughs> On a, on a personal note, uh, I'm going to take, this is off, I know I'm going off script, it always makes them nervous. This time, I, hopefully, I won't have to apologize to the state legislature. <laughs> <laughs> For those that missed it, I made the comment, we were being beat up a lot in legislature, and I said, oh, I wish the legislators wore uniforms like NASCAR so we know who their sponsors were. Well, that made it back to... <laughs> well, well. That, that made it back to Austin before I did, and I got a chance to offer my uh, ability to uh, 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 re recant that before 181 legislators. But on, on a personal note, I, I want to I'll start off. I, I, don't wanna, I can't name everyone that's helped me as a commissioner, but uh, it, it started with Terry Keener and Childress. That's where I learned the respect and love for you and for what TxDOT stands for. On this visit, for I, I, I stayed there for a couple of days, and I had the opportunity to meet, I think, everybody in town, as well as all our employees. Whether they were in maintenance, you know, we're going out to the shop and looking at them, and they're underneath the truck coming out, hey, how you doing, you know, and he's, good to meet you, sir, you know, and I'm just like, no problem, well, that's a working man's hand, that's not going to hurt me. But I really appreciated that. And it taught me, that, you know, the pride that you have, that what you do, how you do it, and what you do. And so I really appreciate that. I really do. Uh, on, on another note, uh, uh, on a personal note, I better clarify something about my wife. I always bring her up every once in a while. I want to dispel the rumor that she's not a bad cook. She's actually, in all truth, she's a gourmet cook. I mean, she's literally cooked with Paula Dean. She's been to the gourmet, uh, the Santa Fe cooking school, the uh, 
Dean Faring, the Culinary Institute of America. I would always tell my friend, you know, well, my wife's at the CIA right now. <laughs> But she's an excellent cook, so hopefully that'll get back to her. <laughs> I, I, I probably shouldn't share this. I'll share this with y'all, though. Uh, you know, uh, in high school, she signed up for a shop class because she thought it meant that she was going to get to go to different malls and shops. <laughs> Uh, somebody asked her one time if said you, you know they asked do I give does your husband give speeches and when she said yes they, they, they really couldn't believe it you know knowing me you know and she said it reminded her of the old saying it's about teaching the dog to walk on his hind legs he doesn't have to do it very well people are just amazed that he could do it at all <laughs> <laughs> thank you again for being the honor of being able to represent you as a commissioner. Thank you for all the hard work you do, for the unsung things you do, for what you stand for, for the family mentality, the family atmosphere, the way you took me in and, and took me in as your redheaded stepchild, so to speak, and, and, and nurtured me. And, and I really appreciate it. And I want to thank the men and women. Thank you very much. And just for the record, each and every one of you are in my prayers every night. Thank you. Next time.